down. Camera. Rolling. All right, and action. What is this? What is this? Is this like for a horror movie? It's giving art, it's giving camp. Am I supposed to know who this is? <laughs> I'm thinking we get a wide angle and then we're done. Is right. this the back rooms? Oh, I've heard of these. Uh, a little more, right. a little more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Blair Witch vibes. I like it. I like it. Oh. Hello? This is where we go when we die. No, are they in the backgrounds? Ah! <laughs> no. What the hell? What the hell is correct? What the hell? Oh, interesting. Oh no, not the stick man. <laughs> Okay. I love this song. Bro, the back rooms are so scary. Have you ever played the Roblox game where you're in the back rooms? No. The music's so off putting. Whoa. It's cursing out a little bit. <laughs> this is my wheelhouse. Creepy pastas when they were it's still kind of our thing, but when they were like in their prime. I lived, laugh, loved in all of that. I don't know why I had to dance through that entire segment, but I really did. Is it one of those like, infinite cycles? Oh, he's back. Oh no, he's back. <laughs> we're trapped. I think it's crazy how they just keep going. Oh, and there's some wolves. There's <laughs> some wolves on the loose. Is that Siren Head? It's giving like Slender Man. Why don't you just try talking to him? He's just chasing you to tell you about your car's extended warranty. You don't know. Hey girl. Hey girly pop. He's gonna be seen. 100%, 100%. Oh, it's a jump scare right here. Right here. 100%, I don't wanna look this good. Oh my God! <laughs> My hands are sweating. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello, good morning, and happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. All right, so do you know what you just watched? Uh, I know very little. I've heard people talk about like the back rooms and I feel like it kind of goes along with like liminal spaces. So I've seen quite a few things from the back room, not specifically of his series alone because it's like its own little thing, its own little fandom, if you will. Now this is a creepy liminal space series with a combined over 72 million views. What? There are a lot of different back rooms series. This one we're gonna react to today is by 16 year old YouTuber, director, and visual effects artist, Kane Pixels. He's 16, that part I didn't know. Way to go, come on, Kane, let's hear it for Kane. Good morning, hello, and happy birthday. <laughs> on July 2nd, 1980. Why is this kind of hit? Research facility tested its low proximity. My voice is so like off-putting. Not to be ableist, but this voice is really difficult to understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's ableism. I don't even know what he's trying to tell me. He was like, there's a magnetic thing, the magnetic experiment, and those are the plans for it. Is that the Hawking voice? That sounds so similar to the, the Stephen Hawking, like, voice modulator. It has not yet been released. Program is granted sufficient backing from Got some stranger things going on right here. Those are really cool special effects. I get like such weird vibes. It's like, it makes me like shake a little bit. I have so many questions all the time, just in general, but also about this. There was an experiment going on and I think that's how the backrooms were created. So we're learning backrooms lore today. Oh, okay. A couple years. Oh no, someone's missing already. Not Nicholas Bolton, Troy Bolton's brother. Margaret Watson. Is this people going missing? audio design on this is chilling. It's great, that's doing its work. See, this is like a mixture of Stranger Things, but instead of the upside down, it's whatever the hell they were in at the end of Us. 
Async? That's the the laboratory that's creating the back rooms. This is giving me like annihilation vibes right here. Okay, how the hell is he making this? Because those people look real. That's not a rendering. Oh, is he burned? Okay, that's super Stranger Things as well. That looks like the weird like tree hole. This makes no sense. What do you mean it makes no sense? Is that a monkey? Oh, that's our boy. Rip. So people are going missing and they're going missing because they're stumbling into these back rooms. Maybe by either going through this portal or just falling through the world like we saw the, the one guy do. It's like those glitches in the matrix where the bike comes from behind the truck and you're like, where did that come from? Or they're kidnapping these people and they're putting them in the back rooms. March 5th, 1990. Damn, you would think that they would have learned after what happened in the 80s with Stranger Things. Groovy soundtrack, honestly. Okay, we're back here. Oh, they're building a little setup. Seven modified video cameras are optimally positioned along lateral division. Hey, each camera has... <laughs> Each camera has been modified to send out an alert and begin recording when motion or substantial noise is detected. Okay, so they're gonna start like tracking the thing. Okay, I like it. Oh, place isn't as big as I thought it, oh, never mind, the place is giant. Following is a compilation of all detected motion alerts received during the night of Monday, March 5th. Three research past Central Division D. Is that an alert or are we detecting movement here? I wonder how they got in there without being eaten. Threshold barrier closed. Oh. <gasps> oh. Ooh, oh, I didn't see that. Hey. Hey. It's giving camp. That was like the first creature, right? He looked taller than the first creature though. Sometimes on like YouTube or something, you see a video where it's like a mythical creature, a skinwalker. This is like the backstory of it. And like, it's, I feel like it's starting to become like one of that. That's how I always feel with these like kind of mystery videos where it's like up to the audience to piece it together. Like I always wonder how much of it is actually the result of some grand design of some genius with this overarching plan and how much of it is like, I'm gonna put these images together and these images together and like someone will make sense out of it. I feel like he's trying to keep us confused. I'm like, kind of more intrigued now because of this. May 6th, a day after. Sierra with the dates, woo. Where are we going here? Oh, was it left open? Oh, we got a man. Is that the leader of the corporation? Damn, they got a man, but I don't. Oh, wow, this is new. Oh, wow, this is new. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, cause I'm like, if y'all built this, why are y'all saying wow? but that makes sense that it's just expanding by itself. Hey. Okay. Like seriously. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Why? Why are you going? What's down there? Walking on normal ground. What's down there? Ooh. Do a flip. Oh, I think that guy's gonna die. Whoa. Ah! Oh, fun. Ah! Oh no, he didn't even do a flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I'm all right. Hang in there, Marv. Come on, Marv. You can do it, Marv. We believe in you. What was that? What was what? Yeah! <laughs> it was the beginning of a Harry Belfonte <laughs> song. Day. Uh, if you're yelling, like a person is yelling. Okay, she got notes, babe. Day. Daylight come. Hey! Why? Can you hear me? <laughs> no. I, I bet that's the monster just like talking. There's also a theory that this exists in a parallel universe mm. and the voices and screams that they hear oh. are from a parallel universe. Wait. That's not a person. You can see a thing, yeah. That's definitely not a person. That is not a person! No, it's not, babe. Oh, he's dead. 100% dead. Of course, he would fall, as they all do. We lose our motor functions when scared. Sick man gotta do what he gotta do. <laughs> Get out of there, Marvin. George, come in. George, it's immediate. Why would you ch Wait, where'd they go? Where the f we at now? Ooh, we are in a new little space. Oh, they're still changing. This is the part in Squid Games where they have to roll the- <laughs> Don't die, Marvin! We believe in you! 
Oh, he got out though. He got, that's surprising. Didn't think he'd make it. Oh, I was getting worried for Marvin there. Hell yeah, Marv! I wasn't that invested, but the way they're doing these camera angles are great. Like I'm like trying to crane my my head to see down there and what's around the corners and stuff. They're doing a good job. Hey yo, it's the guys from Monsters Inc. So right now I'm assuming because of the suits and whatnot, the government is now involved. GovGov is now involved. Good old FBCI, yeah yeah yo, a. Sink. Is this like all like rendering or like it has to be because obviously this place doesn't exist, but it looks so real. Is this like more modern? There's a definite uptick in, in quality here. I mean, this is clearly not from the 80s. Like there's modern color grading and lighting and you can tell this is shot on a, a new camera. Just that shot of the, of the TV turning on like, uh, it's so crisp. I think this project has been getting more, like since it's been getting more views, they're getting more people involved. But now we have actors in this. I think this is like adding in a story. Ooh. Wait, are they building walls? I feel like you should be tearing down walls, <laughs> not, not building new ones. I mean, I guess if you don't want whatever that thing is to come get you. As with most things, they're trying to conquistador the situation. I feel like they're trying to like document everything, right? Cause you don't know what's going on. You just know that there's something in there. It's probably killing people. Wanna see what it is, and it's probably like mysterious. Are they trying to close it off forever, maybe? It's just, maybe something's trying to escape and they wanna prevent such a thing? I'm like shaking. <laughs> this is like suspenseful. Damn, I feel like I wish that I could just like watch an entire season of this now. There is like bits and pieces that are quote unquote canon, but for the most part, the actual lore and story of what the hell is going on has not been released. So you can, the conspiracy theorists go banana bonkers, trying to figure out why everything is figured out. It feels like it's just like a found footage thing, so it, like people put like the realism into that. You know what I think is gonna happen though? One day he's gonna release something and then just stop. I think there's gonna be more. I think one of those creatures is gonna get out and I think we're gonna see it in the real world. I, at least that's what I'd like to see. I feel like there's more that can be done. I would like to see them like actually encounter Siren Head, like where he's not just killing people. Like maybe like get him and do tests on him. I wanna like learn more about the thing. That's, I think that's the most interesting thing. I enjoyed that. I'm probably gonna keep on following on <laughs> while he's posting. Good morning, hello and happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be like a really scary video and I'm sitting here like <laughs> Boop boop <laughs> Good morning San Diego <laughs> Good morning Sandy Rice, the brownie, the San Francisco treat 